Could it be an early Super Bowl preview? It's a coach. This is Madden 19 on EA Sports. Coming up, the two teams with home field advantage if the season were to end today, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Cleveland Browns. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday night football. And on the call, as always, Brandon God and Charles Davis. And coach, we come at you from the shores of Lake Erie. EA Sports has the coverage of the NFL from First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Detroit Lions and the Cleveland Browns. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense. Leading them out is the Austin, Texas native at quarterback. It's Baker Mayfield. Throwing Mayfield. They find some open field here. And now a fumble. The ball's out. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. Wide open receiver complete. Second down, Mayfield. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ryan Shazier. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. Well, if you go by the numbers, you'll find as the temperature goes down, so does the passing efficiency. Following the interception, Kaiser rolling to his right. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. For him, got a couple more downs to play with. Gets it to Gordon. From the gun, Mayfield. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. A slot receiver. And yeah, that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. In for the score. We've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he's got this down to the 35. And they'll try to throw here. Kaiser. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Dancer, Kaiser hit, and he lost the football. And I think the Browns got it. They did. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike, he's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there. And now it's third down and inches. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett, defensive player of the week. And I know people get caught up in what you're the green defensive player. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ryan Shazier. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. And able to get him inside the five here. Here's Kaiser. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Tyler Croft. Here we go now. Mayfield now on second down. Oh, he's got a man wide open. He's like that. Why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. It doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary. Able to stop him before he can get a good head of steam going. And he will find his man on the outside. Was way back when he told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row. I'm going to stay confident. Keep playing. It's on the ground. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Including the bat sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as... And he takes this one in for a ground score. In a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And I think they're focused here. They don't want to give up any... Now a hit and a loose football. And his guys are going to take over. And his... 
his kick is good. And that will extend their lead. Knock it through. Ohio! Ohio! Final play of the half. Kaiser eluding the pressure right. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. I don't think this will even... Nope, it doesn't even get there. Well, an abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling. Did they expect to get him into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for him. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Now they try the right side here. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage. Bob. He's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. Third and long for Kaiser. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And able to rip off a big shot. Seven to knock down, but away and bring up second down. Kaiser now. And now another turnover as this one's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. Pass the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touch. Points. They were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for the Browns, they continue to make their case for the playoffs as they move to 9-3. And, and they'll get to stay put for a few days.